Hey what is up guys, it is Shazad here again with another video and today I have my unboxing and review of the world's first NFC keyboard from one to touch that is the Softpad S1. So without any further ado, let's get straight on into the video. And the awesome people from the one to touch did send it this out to me free for reviewing purposes and I definitely recommend you all guys to check them out. One thing that I definitely wanted to mention here is that I really uh, like the, the quality of the box back here because we do have this a little uh, pop out window here which does allows you to have a sneak peek of your, of your keyboard. On the opposite side of that sneak peek window we do have this quick setup to have some of the tips here to how to set up your keyboard and we do have a NFC tag that does allows you to install the NFC or want to touch a uh, keyboard app from the play store so let us now quickly jump into the unboxing process of this one So the first thing that you can see in the box back here is a loop kind of things here because this uh, keyboard is made up of a jelly plastic kind of material and it is also a foldable to a pocket size. So this uh, this loop kind of things will help you to put together all the things. And as I mentioned earlier, this keyboard is three-way foldable, so we also get a manual instruction that can allow you, uh, that can give you some information on how to fold this keyboard. So here is the main impression of this unboxing, and this is the keyboard here. The things that I really liked about this keyboard is that this is basically a full-sized keyboard and also it is a foldable to a pocketable size so that is pretty good and if you really want to have a hardware keyboard for your NFC capable smartphone that could be my uh, basically a definite, uh, a definite recommendation for you guys. So as you guys can see in the video I can basically fold this keyboard uh, into th uh, two parts and uh, after that I can just apply that loop onto that so that it can stay onto its place and after that I can basically put this into onto my pocket so I didn't have any kind of issues on putting it into my pocket because it is just like putting a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 or a S3 into a pocket and I didn't have any kind of issues with that one. And as you guys can see in the video, I I am basically folding this uh, this keyboard here. And the the and the one thing that I really like here about this keyboard is that uh, it automatically automatically unfolds itself when when the time you just put it on a table. So I do really uh, like this feature. And it is also uh, when the time you just fold this, it will also may also make itself a pretty foldable size. And as you guys can see in the video, after folding together this keyboard, this not looks pretty bulky at all. The unfolding process of this keyboard is also pretty simple. You just need to take out that loop from the keyboard and it will fold away and, uh, definitely and automatically make a full sized keyboard for you guys. For you. The one thing that I really wanted to mention here is that the quality of this keyboard. At the price which it is sold on, I think this is the best quality keyboard that you can get on this. And the uh, I really liked it, a soft touch button here and in the center we do have the NFC NFC tag here which does allows you to have uh, to connect your smartphones at, and tablets with this keyboard itself. And on the back we do have the one to touch logo here and on the top we have the batteries it requires a two batteries here which does, lo does last a pretty long time and you don't really need to charge this one so now i will going to show you how to spare it up and set it up with your device so now guys i'll be going to show you how to easily uh, pair this up with your smartphone so we'll need you will need a nfc capable smartphone and this keyboard so just uh, I have the Galaxy S3 here so I can just jump into my settings and just, just you need to turn on the NFC and once you have turned on the NFC you can jump back to the home and now you'll just need to just uh, put your Galaxy S3 on the right spot where it, uh, it, connect, it gets connected with your keyboard 
so you will need some the time to just know that point and once you just connect it uh, or uh, right you will have a pop-up to install a app of the one to touch here to basically make this uh, keyboard to work and once you have downloaded the app you are again you just have to just take out your galaxy s3 or any of the smartphone uh, take away from the keyboard and just need to connect it again and now it will give you a pop-up to just connect your keyboard to your smartphone and now you will just need to uh, make this keyboard as your default keyboard once you have go through that easy process uh, you can just now take out your galaxy s3 and just uh, reconnect it again and now uh, it will give you uh, a message that says it is connected to your smartphone so now you can use uh, any of the option on your galaxy s3 or any of the uh, smartphone that you have connected with the help of this keyboard so all the things works pretty good in my opinion uh, we also have some of the android buttons here just like a back home and a function button that can allow you to do a lots of work on your android devices without having the without touching your uh, screen itself so as you guys can see i'm showing you a demo of how, uh, how can it how it is easy to type in with the help of this keyboard as you guys can see in the video i am writing my name here and i didn't have connected any kind of cables here it is totally wireless and it works really awesome for me we can just jump back to home by just clicking the uh, the home key here and we also have the search key by you can just uh, search anything here so we also have some of these settings here just like a vibrate on key press and also a sound on key press and some other settings that you can tweak on so that's pretty much it guys this is about it or about the keyboard you can pretty much use all of your inbuilt and downloaded apps with the help of this keyboard you can browse internet play uh, i don't i'm not sure about the playing games with this one because i didn't have tried that but uh, i'm sure that all the things will work uh, really fine with this one so that is pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did it would be awesome if you leave this video a like rating and for more videos like these, you can check out my channel. And I'll see you all guys in my next video. Peace.